And I'm back. Back and blacker than ever. Of course. Back and blacker than ever in a black leather. <laughs> All right, we back. Let's talk about these people. These sand niggas, you know? And Dan Deniana Jones. You'll never see them in their own country helping their own people out, you know what I'm saying? But they're over here as doctors, you know? They're the ones behind all this no smoking campaigns and all this stuff with cigarettes because they don't want to fucking help fucking people with cancers and stuff like that. They don't want to do their jobs. They're lazy. You know? They don't really care about your health. You know? Anyone knows, knows, you know? Meanwhile, back in their country, 50% of the people out there are missing 50% of their teeth by the time they reach age 50. That's the mathematics of the day. That's the cycle. I want you to pay attention. Because I ain't never seen it yet, them back there helping their own people out. You know what I'm saying? But they're over here like Nazi telling us how to fucking live and all this shit. Fuck them. They're fucking pedophiles. You know? All this all into this together stuff. Nah, we ain't including the pedophiles, man. You know? You wanna live by street rules? You know? Street rules really come from the jails. Go to the fucking jails and ask them if you could be allowed in. Go ask the Aryan Nation. You know? <coughs> go, to, go to King Tone or the Latin Kings, you know what I'm saying? Go to the head of the blood, King Blood or whatever his name is. You know? Go to the head of the crypts and ask him, you know? I want to see what their answer is, because my answer is not. Nah, you're not in. Not in my book. You know what I'm saying? Got this commercial here for DoorDash. I'm sure you guys seen it. Got the black guy in the bike, you know? The little fucking clown electric bike they got him on. He's acting like he's all happy. I'm like, yo, you looking crazy, God. You know what I'm saying? They got you out here. You know what I'm saying? Delivering food for people who don't really give a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? Fucking DoorDash. Your boss is popping in artificial intelligence. You know what I'm saying? Half of these companies, Uber and all this stuff, you know, probably all got connections to the old school Nazis, you know, the Dr. Van Braun's and whatever, you know, the people that built the rocket, you know, they're living under the illusion of the rocket, you know, they're living under the illusion of Kraft's cock, you know what I'm saying, you see that rocket go off the other day, it looked like a big white dick, you know, that's Kraft's cock. You know, for those that don't know the connection, it's video game connections on that one. You know what I'm saying? And you're living under that illusion, going to space and all this stuff. And Take the moon landings. And people are like, you know, you're all in a conspiracy tip. Yeah, they fake the moon landings, but they're going to take us to Mars. Like, are you crazy? Nigga, have you gone berserk? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I 
got the rat pal back in fucking NYC again. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys like it. It's stick to the comedy. Stick to the community. It's insane. <laughs> I bet you they're going to have the migrants trying to fucking solve this thing, you know? <laughs> I have these people trying to catch the rats. <laughs> Try and give them like two dollars a rat, you know. Oh man. If you don't think they're gonna fucking you know? Have those people trying something with them. You crazy. They won't even listen to my plans. My plans, you would have had it all done. You know? Now they're bringing back the dumpsters and garbage plants and businesses. and Oh, man. It's going to look so stupid out there. We got. Let's go back to that person with the free Palestine shirt on at the time of crisis and a bald headed girlfriend. <laughs> I bet you. You know, if you went up to this person, you asked them about, like, oh, what's the situation in Palestine? You know, they couldn't come out of free Palestine. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't even know how to answer it, you know what I'm saying? You ask them questions, oh, how that all situation started, you know what I'm saying? They wouldn't know. You ask them, well, who's the prime ministers over there now and all this stuff, you know? They wouldn't know. Some other commercials. You got these kids, you know, they're doing like that strip club move when you, you know, you 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 putting the money out there, you know, with your hands, you know, you're like fucking letting the making it rain with the money. I'm like, wow, you know, that's what these fucking black people do in the strip clubs, and you got little fucking kids doing this, you know. black people do so they could feel like they made some money you know that they're balling you know they could just throw it on the floor like that they got no respect for it you know no respect for the dancer that's dancing you know not to hand it to her nicely you know because you want all the attention is what it is you know what I'm saying that's what that is that's what that move's about. You want people looking at you while you're doing that. <coughs> like you're some sort of street boss, like you John Gotti or something. Like, stop playing. <laughs> and have we found out who the black people was chasing out the Gottis? <laughs> After he left the courthouse? <laughs> the one kid was there for some court stuff, you know, he had to go back 
you know, and they probably got the Gotti court case going on next door or something, you know. And he probably, you know, heard all the commotion out in the hallway, you know, seeing Gotti being brought back out. And, you know, he probably like, oh, fuck my case. <laughs> I'm going to chase it at the Gotti, you know what I'm saying? Like, and while he's outside, you know, they're calling his name, the judge. <laughs> I find that a bench warrant. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to put his head in the car. God, he almost takes it off. <laughs> he closes the door. <laughs> and now apparently they're still looking for the guy in the bra situation, you know, his woman's black boyfriend.